What is going on guys? Today we have another flashback review. We have got the Huntelaar 89 rated coming up next. <laughs> So if you want to get your hands on the 89 rated Huntelaar, you've got to do two SBCs, both 84 rated. One requires one minimum Netherlands player and the other one requires a person from, I believe, Schalke, I want to say. Um, so relatively easy. You can get it for about 100k and to about 120k on the Xbox. Um, so realistically, not that expensive for an 89 uh, rated striker. Um, going over some of the stats that he's got, obviously he was a 77 uh, non-rare to start with, and then he's been boosted up to this 89 beast. He's got 80 passing, oh no, 80 pace, sorry, 89 shooting, 73 passing, 83 dribbling, 40 defending, and 90 physical. So overall wise, you can see that it's heavily reliant on his shooting and physical. So that's something to consider if you want him as a striker, if you need someone. A little bit taller as he is six foot one and a bit stronger with a shot or do you want that more of a pace kind of person well looking at some of his stats he's got a four star weak foot and a two star skill move so already skillers are probably staying away from this card um the four star weak foot is quite nice like i said he is right footed and six foot one so again really big striker really nice to see he has a medium medium attacking and defensive work rate which again is not the most ideal, but it's it's doable. It, it's definitely doable. Looking at some of the in-game stats, overall he has 2,199. So again, not the greatest, not the worst. It's around about there, but some of the stats in this card are actually incredible. So we've got 74 acceleration with 84 sprint speed, which isn't amazing, but you put a Hunter card on that. And to be honest, I believe, what does it go to? It goes to, uh, it goes to 84 and 94. So realistically if you was just to put a pace card on him probably sorts that out pretty well um shooting wise he's got 89 overall he's got 95 attacking positioning 91 finishing and shot power 83 long shots and 92 volleys so again that is incredible the shooting on this card is unbelievable the physicality is where it's next best at he's got 99 strength 88 aggression and 99 jumping the biggest downfall on this card personally is the 68 stamina that he's got that, for me, isn't good enough. Personally, this card is a, is the perfect super sub. I, you probably could get him in quite easily for a Dutch uh, link or maybe even Ajax link if you really wanted. They've got a few nice players with the future stars and I think a few other specials. But this card is one of them ones that personally I would have as a super sub and possibly to make a drastic change halfway through the game. I wouldn't let him play the whole game um, just purely based on how much stamina he does lose. But he also does have 99 reactions, 99 composure and 86 ball control, which again is really, really nice. The card overall is somewhat average in the sense of average for an 89. There's no standouts. But if you take the stats that you've got, the jump in, the strength, the reaction and composure, and then the shooting, you've got a really, really nice card to build on. And some of the chem styles definitely can help you out here. Personally, I would go for anything with pace and then possibly stay away from shooting and look at maybe passing or dribbling. Um... Uh, that, that is personally my opinion. He does not need any more shooting on this card. And he most definitely doesn't need any more physicality on the card. So absolutely scrap them. Also, I've just noticed he does have 90 heading accuracy as well. So this card is designed for being in that box, heading it, or give the ball to his feet. He'll turn and shoot, and more than likely, it will go screaming in. Um, so what did I think of this card overall? I thought, like I've pretty much said, the stats don't lie with this card. The pace isn't incredible. The shooting is fantastic. Physicality of him is is an absolute dream. Being six foot one and having ninety nine strength, absolutely just out of this world. Dribbling wise, I thought obviously not dribbling past players, but having the ball at his feet and kind of either getting the pass on or possibly shimmy into the left and going for that element. He won't dribble through everyone, but 
he does have that composure and the reactions to him that makes him really nice on the ball. So overall, I'm giving him an 8.8 .8 rating out of 10. I thought he was a fantastic player. The stamina definitely lets him down. The pace, if you was to, uh, to consider with no chem style, is a little bit slow. But again, you're looking possibly maybe even a cam roll for him. Someone who you can dink the ball to, hold it up, turn it, pass it on, and then either get himself in the box or get himself on the edge of the box for that that little finesse or that little shot going in for that. So personally, that's where I'd have him. Centre forward again would kind of fit in with him as well. Um, so let me know what you know. What let me know what you know. Let me know what you think down below. Um, have you used this card or used any of the other cards? Or is this a, a flashback that you've been waiting for? Personally, I'm still waiting for that David Luiz, and hopefully we will get Baines out of here soon. But Make sure you subscribe for more content, player reviews banging out left, right and centre. Make sure you like this video for more and I'll see you all again next time. Peace!